Okay, winding down this video resume, I wanted to step in just for a moment to share a piece I did with you while at Cornerstone when I had to travel to New York and cover a documentary on Ground Zero. I don't have the original piece that the television station airs, but I do have in my Avid software my stand-up piece, and I was able to pull the actual presentation off of a DVD. So what I'm going to do is take this out of Camtasia, out of Avid, and transfer it into Vegas to insert the HD portion of me doing my stand-up around the SD portion of the actual presentation that aired on, uh, I believe it, uh, it aired a couple years ago on uh, Cornerstone Television. So here we go. <laughs> New York, New York, known the world over as the center of everything. Where anything can happen, usually does, and probably will. Looking for that unusual trinket that you can't find in your area? Come to New York, you'll find it. Want to find that unusual doodad that nobody in your neighborhood can get their hands on? Come to New York, you'll find it. But nobody who was in New York on September 11, 2001, expected to find this. The South Tower burned for 53 minutes and then collapsed in 11 seconds. Jackie Delara was a high-powered executive at one of the world's premier banks on that fateful day. Now retired, she tells the story of her five-hour walk home that began shortly after the second tower collapsed. I was at my office, and one of my co-workers came over and said to me, someone just hit the World Trade Center. He saw it on the computer. We went into the conference room and turned the TV on. Not five minutes after we turned the TV on, another plane hit the center. World Trade Center. We were watching the TV and the, and the buildings fell. So immediately we started packing up to leave to go home. Had to go downstairs and buy some sneakers because we all had, you know, we were dressed in corporate attire and we had to walk home. So we went downstairs and we bought sneakers and we started walking. There were people who were on the street giving out water so you could drink because everybody knew you had so far to go. As we got near the Brooklyn Bridge, you saw all of this white stuff and things coming down, and it looked like it was a snowstorm. But what it really was was the debris from the buildings and the people and the ashes and the things from the buildings. As we proceeded across the Brooklyn Bridge, there was a lot of those big... Uh